last night. We had a big announcement. And the big announcement is your Royal Rumble win doesn't matter, Roman Reigns. <laughs> maybe. Uh, might uh, may, not matter. Maybe. Uh, Could possibly not matter. Maybe. He should have at least said it like The Rock. <laughs> How's that? What did you do at the Royal, at the Royal Rumble, Roman Reigns? Well, like, it doesn't matter what you did at the Royal Rumble. <laughs> at least, at least do that. Well, first of all, this is my first thing, and, and, and Matt, you wrote a great article. We'll get to here in a moment on your blog. But, but this is potentially, if this goes the way we think it's going to go, I know it's kind of like we need something to do that month in between, but how many times have we switched up things? We've had a new champion, even though like a guy goes to the main event, we've had an elimination chamber, gives a whole different person to, 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 to face at WrestleMania in the meantime and the champion. Um, I mean, does the Rumble matter as much as it used to in setting up that WrestleMania? What do you guys think? It matters if you're talking about the fans going full throat and telling WWE what they would rather have mm -hmm. other than the thing that they're being given. If that's, I guess the Rumble does matter because it's like the point of no return. I know we <laughs> talked about that a little bit last week for all the fans. Mm -hmm. We're like, oh, oh, wait, WrestleMania's almost here. I better get my booze in on Reigns now before they push him all the way to the main event. Oh, wait, too late? Oh, screw this. And then they have to come back around and try to make it up to us again. I'm it's a vicious cycle sword. I'm scared of this trend. I'm scared. I, I, what did we do in Pittsburgh? What did we start here? I, I'm worried. But it's not like it's entirely unprecedented. No, no, certainly not. Because, I mean, the first Rumble that Austin won, he didn't go to the main event. Mm -hmm. Vince McMahon won a Rumble. Right. He didn't go to the main event. Right. Um, I mean, honestly, I, I heard this on another show. I don't remember which one. Um, I think that the Rumble is kind of like, I think WWE is booking to make the internet reaction the new kayfabe. Like, how, how do you the, mean that? They're playing off our reaction because we all read the internet. We read that, hey, look, they're going to push Roman Reigns to the moon. Hey, look, Daniel Bryan's going to face Sheamus again. But they're playing into that. They're like, okay, if that's what they believe the narrative is, let's use that as our narrative. Okay. Okay, so they, they are I listening. Mean, they, they, are... They, even, they even so much as said, Cena versus Rusev was supposed to be at WrestleMania, but now it's going to be at Fastlane. Yeah. They said that on Raw. Like, it's what? Start. Why was it going to be Cena and Rusev at WrestleMania? That makes no sense at all. Like, right. unless you read the internet. Right. Exactly. Uh, Dan, what do you think about this 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 shift lately? Well, I mean, it, it, it looks like the Royal Rumble is a bit of a curse, right? So, I mean, if you think about it, uh, Edge won and then had to retire. Albert, Albert Del Rio won that huge Royal Rumble, um, you know, the 40-man thing. Um, you know, his career has gone. He's, he's not gone, but he's out the WWE, obviously. Sheamus won and, and you know, the fans turned on Sheamus. Um Batista won, and they booed him out of the building, and, and now he's nowhere to be seen. And and now Roman Reigns has won, and again, they've, they've booed him out of the building. And this is a guy that everybody, you know, like you skip back a couple of months, and everybody's like, Roman Reigns and the Shield are the best thing that's happened to WWE in a long time. We wanted Roman to do well, and, and he finally gets the push, but because we know that that's what they're trying to do, you know, the, the fans have, have turned on him, which I think is... A bit of a shame because that's that's the guy that we all wanted them to push. It's just that he started doing things like the uh, the repetitive drop kick kind of thing, and mm -hmm. that reminded everybody of Cena, I think. So yeah, I, I think the Rumble's more of a curse. Um, you know, Rey Mysterio won it recently. You know, in in his career, I guess. And, yeah. <laughs> but even but even Ray had to defend his Royal Rumble title win against Randy Orton. Yeah. Like Ray had to defend it. When The Rock won, it ended up being a fatal four-way at WrestleMania 2000. Mm -hmm. Like, there there are precedents for this more than we think there are. If you really think about it, there's a lot of guys who've had to defend their Royal Rumble uh, title shots. Mm -hmm. That's a right? I mean, that's that's what they do there. It's it's that whole, you know, it's something that they can use to to move us through the next few months. I mean, they, you can't really count too many times that the the Rumble's winners won, and then they faced off with a champ, and it's been the same two guys going head-to-head. -head. Mm -hmm. you know, the championship might change hands or something like that. 
it's it's not a clear I, path to the main event at WrestleMania. I mean, anymore. the only I thing, like the only thing they, I wonder, oh, sorry, Duel. I, I feel like they have to. I mean, they have to do something to fill the time between Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, and they have they have at least you know the one pay per view or two pay per views to get through. Mm-hmm. I'm not good with time. It's one pay per view. Sorry, um, <laughs> but uh, like they they have to they have to make it interesting. So. That guy's big thing is main eventing Royal Rumble, and it, it just makes sense that the easiest thing is to put that in peril. But here's my question. The, Triple H said that the whole reason for the controversy was because after Reigns eliminated Big Show and Kane, they came back in and attacked them. If they had thrown Roman Reigns over the top rope, uh, Rusev would have won the Royal Rumble. Why wasn't Rusev included in any of those events that transpired last night? It seems like he would have a more legitimate claim than anyone else. And, of course, Curtis Axel. Right. Uh, I took care I of a problem with this Curtis Axel thing. <laughs> <laughs> because here's the thing. This is not the first time this has happened to a wrestler right. in the Royal Rumble. Right. There have been plenty of guys who didn't make it to the ring – and because it was before the internet was so loud, like where's where's uh, Zach Gowan? That ro- he's still in the Royal Rumble. He never made it to the to the ring that Wait, one year that what? he was in. Zach Gowan? Really? I don't think he was ever in a. Ring. No, I don't think he was even like. No, because no. he, he was coming in. I'm telling you, I remember this happening. He was coming down to the ring, and someone jumped him and beat the crap out of him, and never got in the ring. This is not an isolated incident. Hold on, I'm going to tweet him right now. And ask. I, I, but how many how many people have actually addressed not being able to get to the like uh, Maven they have they have has a huge beef because Maven was never eliminated. They have though. They yeah. have though. Uh, no, Maven. Maven, I agree with, but they have uh, one of the early rumbles. Uh, like Macho Man didn't come out, and they didn't know who it was, and they're like, "Well, you have until the next person to mm-hmm. hit the ring. If you don't make it, you're disqualified." So. Like I said, the only reason it's being addressed on Raw is because the internet is so loud and everyone was like, look at Curtis Axel! Let's make that a thing! Yeah, I mean, he good was, last night. Axel, I mean, he wasn't... He, he was shipped back to NXT. He was <laughs> brought out and beat down on Raw. He caught the stink on Twitter. He got himself back on Raw, so good for him. Got himself yeah. back on TV. He got people to pay attention to him again. Yeah, I'm so pretty I sure. Feel too upset at Curtis Axel. I'm pretty sure if Twitter was a thing back in 2002 or whatever, Maven would have been like, I eliminated The Undertaker. Where's my Mania title shot, motherfuckers? <laughs> All right, I well, a I you last a God. Okay, outside, outside of that, outside of the, the, the technicalities of Royal Rumble, uh, let, let's touch a little bit on, on, on Reigns and, and you know, this um, adjustment. Sword, sword. What? Yeah. Before we get into that, Alex Gars just um, put in the chat room. So far, all searches come up with could Zach Gowan be eliminated from the run? <laughs> and that is something we've joked about for years. Right. Only if you throw over his prosthetic leg, too. Exactly. Exactly. If well, you I got throw tweet- over him and his leg. Yes, he can. Really I have a tweet out to him to ask if he was ever in the rumble. Hopefully, he responds here before uh, uh, before <laughs> before we go to press here. Um, but anyways, uh, speaking of going to press, uh, 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 Matt, you had uh, over at mainstream Matt box. Uh, Dot com. You had a pretty interesting article uh, discussing the Roman Reigns situation uh, surrounding the, the Rumble and everything everything else. And if I can find the link there to show off, uh, entitled uh, Roman yeah. Reigns. Uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, Roman Reigns, uh, the, 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 you know, too much too soon or not soon enough. Uh, so I, uh, what, what what's the general premise of this to catch people up? Right. So. This is all based around people talking about uh, Roman so inexperienced. Roman only has X amount of one-on-one matches on pay-per-view. So I did I did a little bit of crude <clears throat> research while I was sitting through the eight millionth Big Show versus Roman Reigns match last night on Raw. I yeah, just kind of went back in my memory banks to see if I could find, you know, similar case studies. And there are past guys with similar trajectories to Roman Reigns. Uh, Batista is probably the most comparable because of how long they, between their debut and when they actually won their title. But also, like, Brock Lesnar obviously had a spectacularly rapid rise up the card, like 160-some days. Sheamus had zero pay-per-view one-on-one matches before he beat John Cena for the WWE Championship. Uh, And then you had another one 
which is actually the fastest uh, that I could find from WWE debut to title win, Yokozuna, who just popped up in October, beats Virgil at the Survivor Series, wins the Royal Rumble, Virgil. goes to WrestleMania, and wins the title. Boom, like 150 some odd days. Like, so we're, we go back and we look at Roman Reigns from an experience standpoint, which is, seems to be what people like to pin on him, that he doesn't have enough experience to carry the ball for WWE. Roman Reigns has like 20 pay-per-view matches under his belt. Granted, most of them tag matches with The Shield, Seth Rollins, etc. But when you compare him to guys like Batista, Brock Lesnar, Sheamus, Yokozuna, when those guys were given the major championship in the company, I mean, Reigns has got like double three times, 20 times the pay-per-view experience that those guys did at the time. Um, so I think it's kind of a fallacy when people talk about Reigns isn't experienced enough to be in the main event at WrestleMania and win the big belt. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious that he is, and not only that, but WWE seems to do this all the time, and more often than not, it ends up being pretty successful in the end. I mean, I think we can all agree that all four of those other guys I mentioned worked out okay with their title runs. Mm -hmm. The only thing about I think the problem with Roman, because I mean last year, you guys were chanting for Roman Reigns when it was him and Batista. Yep. The the problem is that after the Shield broke up, Roman Reigns has had enough time to expose every single solitary one of his flaws. Every single one of them. And I think that goes back to the main point and the reason why the title of the article is what it is. Too much too soon. Not really. Actually, not soon enough. They should have had Reigns win the Rumble in 2014. When people were still not quite ready for him, that would have made it hotter. And you know what? He had enough experience at that point to do it anyways. So Plus you, could have, you, could have had a thing, you almost you almost let – let the fuse burn too long. I, I can't think of a right analogy, but you almost let him, you almost overexposed him to a point. You could have also had a really cool shield versus authority thing going into last year's WrestleMania because Randy Orton was the champion at the time. Like, and we got the shield versus evolution thing after WrestleMania, but shield versus shield versus what essentially was evolution going into mania. That could have been really interesting too. I just want to ask you guys a question. I mean, was any of you surprised by the booze at the Royal Rumble, or did you fully expect that to happen? After Daniel Bryan got eliminated, yeah. Uh, it was, it yeah. was pretty downhill from there. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you just felt the air being sucked out of that arena. Okay. You, you just felt it. Like, it was just – like, I see what they were doing by trying to eliminate Bryan early, so – People would have time to recover enough to maybe get behind Reigns, but no. Like I think it almost would have been better if Brian was essentially had the Rusev spot. Like if the Authority came in, beat the shit out of Brian, and Big Show knocked him out, and he like fell through the ropes or something, and then you have Brian come in after that, have a face off of Reigns, and then Reigns spears him and eliminates him. I think that actually would have been better because then people would be like. Okay, Brian got a lot of time in there. He had a shot. They're going another way. Don't you think it's funny, though, that like WWE basically, through their own ignorance, whatever, walked straight into the buzzsaw at the Royal Rumble <laughs> when everyone else could see that this was coming. They knew that the fans were going to cheer for Brian. And now what does WWE do? They turn right back around. They make a match for fast lane between Brian and Reigns. They walk right back into the buzzsaw. Uh, they're clearly looking for this to happen. I, at this I, point. I think there's some. Like they're encouraging it. I, I think there's some ideas as to why that's happening. I think we'll get to those here in our next discussion. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll let us know what you think on Twitter. What do you think about where Roman Reigns is? Uh, and definitely read that article over at uh, 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 Matt Carlin's uh, blog over there. Um, oh, hey, uh, and, and also added to WrestlingMayhemShow.com are links. Uh, there's an RSS feed down there. We've had WrestleZone for a while because they've been very supportive of, of us and working with uh, uh, the, uh, the Chair Shot Reality a couple summers ago here. Um, but there's also one there for the uh, Mainstream Matt's blog. 
Uh, so you can check out uh, uh, that directly from WrestlingMayhemShow.com as well, including the Mayhem Manias that we've been doing here at the end of the show last few weeks. So uh, in the meantime, hey, support some good wrestling out there and support the show, please. Um, as always, please please uh, uh, give a uh, shout out and, and jump over to uh, ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. Um, really great site, really supportive, uh, you know, giving people a, a place to support their wares. Uh, you know, us in podcasting world for wrestling, uh, promotions, everything like that. A lot of, a lot of, uh, 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 a lot of the guys like friend of the show, Gregory Iron, CM Punk approved Gregory Iron that we've had on the show in the past. Uh, he's got some fun stuff. Uh, I, I can tell you, I've seen this guy walk into a, a chair shot reality shoot with an LJN Hulk Hogan figure. Um, and, uh, like he is a, a fan of the, uh, good old days of wrestling. And you can tell that if you check out his shirts, <laughs> he has a shirt on here. I just noticed, uh, called Crip'em in the style of Rip'em from No Holds Barred. Yeah, that, that's fantastic. That's awesome. Um, so he's got a lot of fun stuff on there. A lot of great designs. Um, I think he does a lot. I'm pretty sure he's a bit of an artist. Like I think some of these might be his own designs. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, and also, they, they have, they're always adding uh, a lot of bigger names, too. There's my girl, Lita, Amy Dumas, uh, Hall of Famer. She's got a few shirts on there. The Road Warriors are represented with some awesome old-school-looking uh, stuff. Uh, so if you want to get those and support, of course, Friends of the Show and others in indie wrestling and podcasting and promotions and all kinds of stuff, ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. Start there. Throw one of our great designs from Alex Cars in your cart and uh, shop away and support them and support the this show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.